Guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you're a returning subscriber, as always, welcome back. And I appreciate the support. Guys, I'm going to talk about this story right here. It didn't really make national news. Um, and if it did, I didn't know anything about it. It happened a couple days ago. And the story is about this young lady right here, Rose Giannis. Now, Rose Giannis is a uh, Latino American that lives in Santa Fe, Texas. And, uh... Rose Ayanas is also the mother of Christopher Stone, who was a victim in the 2018 uh, Santa Fe High School mass shooting, which is unfortunate. But Miss Ayanas is in the news because she's having problems with her neighbor and it's over a Confederate flag. Miss Ayanas and the neighbor have had problems since 2012. And all of a sudden, Miss Giannis was arrested for trespassing on his property as she went over there to take matters in her own hands and remove the flag from said neighbor's property. Under the guise of saying the flag was leaning on her side of the property. Now, whether you feel a certain way about it, I think this is an interesting story because it's the way they're pushing the narrative. And when I say they... The media shot the story. And I'll leave it in uh, the description box. You look at the story, but just look at it. Close your eyes and listen to it. And look at how it paints, you know, the whole picture. And makes it almost like a, a, a race uh, intimidation thing. Now, I'm going to explain something to you in the story. And I'm going to make a few points. And I'm just being honest. You know, I'm going to call it the way I see it. Check it out. Supposedly... I'm going to tell you why I call BS on this. Supposedly, the neighbor moved in in 2012, and they've had problems with this man ever since he'd been there. And a little bit of backstory. The house, according to the report, news report, is the, is the parents' house of Rose Highness. And they're elderly. They're really elderly. They show them they're really elderly. And the thing that's funny is, uh, supposedly on January 28th, this happened when she was arrested for trespassing. And then after she got out, a lot of uh, community activists and all this other stuff have came out in her defense. And they're trying to paint this picture of this man being this over racist and all this other stuff and him being the problem. But I don't think it's like that. Now, check it out. First thing I think is this. Now, after this is if you have watched the video, or you heard about this story. I think number one, like they said, the man moved in 2012. They had words, never had, uh, never got along. First thing is this. They said she went over there and took the flag. You think she, you know, she did this one time. No, this is an ongoing thing. And I think the flag is just the, sh the, the forefront of what they're talking about. They had problems before the flags went up. And, you know, the media is not paint, painting it like that. Another thing is this. I think he's trolling her. And I'm being dead honest. They must have argued about something. And she must have called him a racist or something like that. And he said, you know what? And he put the flags up. Because, I mean, there are flags around here. Now, I mean, I'm not saying this happened. But I, it, it, I could see some type of stuff. Because if you look at the situation with this lady... Like I said, the reason why I say it's beyond the flag, she has a lot of Karen-like behavior. I have enough to deal with. My parents are uh, elderly. My son died four years ago. I don't have time for this. <clears throat> Ma'am, you went over there in his yard and took the flag off of his property. Now, do I think he's a dickhead and an asshole? Yeah, to some extent, they interviewed him and he spoke a little bit. He sounded like a douchebag. I'm not taking nothing away from it. And my thing is this with fly, anybody that wants to fly a flag that some people deem offensive or wear shirts that people deem offensive. Nowadays, you don't even know what the fuck you want. You know, you got that make people mad. My thing is this. Anything you wear that offends somebody, be ready to deal with what comes with it. And I think he understands that. You know, to put something up offensive, you got to be ready to deal with people that are offended. Now, <clears throat> out there, 
Confederate flags are her normal thing. She knows this. I think it's just basically, like I said, he was trolling her. They probably got into an argument because the story contradicts itself. He it kind of said in the beginning he put the flag up, if you pay attention to where it was worded. Then in another article that I read, it says uh, a year after her son died and during the Christmas holidays, he came out and put the flags up and told her Merry effing Christmas. Now, is that racial intimidation? I don't know because I don't know the situation. But, I mean, the media have you say it was racial consideration. Am I taking anything away from the dude? No, because I think he's an asshole. And, you know, I don't know what I would do in that situation or anything like that. But, I mean, seeing something is not going to offend me so much that I have enough balls to walk on your property and take something. But let me explain something to you guys. The law does not care about right or wrong in the court. And that's the thing that a lot of us don't understand. And why a lot of criminals get off with different type of sentence that we, who are mercifully charged watching a case, can't understand. They don't care about what's right or wrong. They only care what's legal or not. That's why all these statutes in the law say certain things. And we think it's this, but it'd be that, depending on circumstances. So they only care about what is legal. They don't care about right or wrong and all this other stuff. That's why when people argue in court, they don't want to hear that. They try to come to a resolution within the law. Now, like I said, she had Karen-type uh, Karen behavior. This is how she got arrested. Third time she'd been going over there taking this off this man's property, police come or, or call. She belligerent with the police and going off. So the police like, you know what? You, 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 you're not listening. You're out of control. And they lock her up over there. We're going to get a trespassing charge. We're going to lock you up. So she got locked up because of the way she was carrying on. But they made it, the media made it like, oh, she was trespassing. So she got locked up because she was on this property trying to do the right thing against an evil racist. I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that. Because I told you before, while people fight about black and white on lower levels, somebody above that is profiting off of that. You know what I mean? And it's a diversion away from bigger issues that affect us as people. <laughs> For her to get up there and talk about, hey, uh, you know, my family, you know, I got a lot to worry about. Listen, everybody got problems, man. And the flag ain't going to fix it, whether it's up there or not. You still don't like the neighbor. You still don't like the neighbor. You went over there in that man's property three times. And I know he told you don't come over here. You kept going over there. And that's why you got locked up. You know, your son four years ago and all this stuff, you'll always be associated with that story. And, you know, it's unfortunate that that happened to you, but you can't use that as because this happened. Everybody got to feel a certain way to me. You're not a victim from that. And it's just the way I think about it, guys. I mean, I'm not, I don't think she's a bad person. I just think this is typical Karen behavior that's allowed, you know, for people to do. And the thing that's funny, the media went and interviewed this guy. The guy said, it's my right to put in my yard what I want. You know, if I want to put a flag up there that says whatever, he said, I'll do it. It's my right within the law. You know what I'm saying? It's just like me. If I put like Black Lives Matter or like uh, some something dealing with Africa or something, anybody can find a fence with a shirt we wear, a flag we got, anything. I mean, they're not illegal. You can still buy this stuff or any type of flag you want online and she has to understand it. I just think she's make, using the flag to make a bigger thing of her not liking the neighbor you know because she told she told me I mean she told me she said on the story if you look I'll leave like in the description how can we just get along but you said this years after y'all had beef and the dislike is already there how can we get along she asked him the guy said F off now he don't like you now all of a sudden he got the flag up there now. I can really attack him because I think people will be behind me because that flag brings a certain type of energy. I don't think that's right. But anyway, guys, listen. Um, drop me a comment, man. I mean, tell me what you would do if the flag if the flag was an issue. And then let me show you something before I leave. Look at the flag. This is the picture that, that was taken that they're showing and they're going off and saying that she has a problem with, and this is what started the whole thing. 
The flag is leaning towards her parents' house. Look at the flag. What do you notice? The wind is blowing. Look at the flag with the flags on. One of them flimsy fiberglass uh, poles, the kind they put on the back of pickup trucks and stuff like that. Like team, a lot of team uh, flags have these poles where when they drive, the pole leans, it wave, the flag waves. He has a flag with that pole, so when the wind blows, it leans and goes over there. You're not upset about the flag, really. You, your, your complaint was when the wind blows, it blows, it's leaning over there. Go figure. I'm talking about Steve as always. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is crazy, man. How they trying to paint this?